So who are you? I'm, my name is Evan Avasi, and I'm the president of the Marist Car Club. What are your visions for Marist Car Club? My visions, I mean, I'd really like to have the car club be a place where kids can gather and collect and share their enthusiasm and passion for motorsports and just cars in general. Make it a safe space for everybody to kind of come together over one common interest. How did the car club start? The car club started, it's actually a fun story. So the car club started with Chase and uh, Raymond having breakfast one day and I overheard them talking about uh, Subaru WRX STIs. And at the time Chase had a WRX and he was hoping to get an STI, which he now has done. But I heard that conversation going on and at the time I didn't know anyone who was interested in cars. So I kind of just overheard that conversation and I went over and we started talking about it because one of my friends at home uh, had an STI that I had a lot of experience with. So we kind of started bonding over that mutual interest in Subarus. But, you know, that's I think that's just one testament to how cars kind of bring people together. What are the visions of the car club? The visions of the car club is to kind of bring everybody together over their one shared passion for cars and motorsports. It, whether it be someone who's just kind of interested in cars or whether they're super involved and know all the nitty gritty details. I think, you know, for those people who don't know a lot, it's a great learning opportunity. And for the people who know a lot, it's a good opportunity to share their knowledge and to talk about something that they're super passionate about that otherwise, I don't think in the Marist community, they would have otherwise had a chance to talk about it at all. And it's very hard to find um, people who are interested in cars without this shared common item or club, because it's not one of those things where you can just look at somebody and tell, hey, they're a car enthusiast. Usually car enthusiasts are much more you know, they don't really put it out there to the, for the world to see. So how do you plan on getting the community involved? So for the community, for the Marist community, just providing educational events, whether it be, hey, this is how you set your tire pressures right in the fall for cold winter driving, so you're not running on flat tires and eating through tires, to, hey, you want to learn some basic mechanicals, how to change a tire or how to change your oil or something just kind of the basics. So that way people who are interested stay interested and those who know a lot can help teach. Can anyone be a part of the car club? Yeah, anyone can be a part of the car club as long as they're a Marist student. So under the Marist guidelines, you have to be an undergraduate student to be a part of the car club. Um, we're kind of hoping to change that and involve graduate students because I don't see any reason why they can't be involved. And I think a lot of graduate students have cars on campus, so it'd be a good opportunity to get them involved with some underclassmen and maybe um, share some knowledge. And I don't think there's anything against that, but it's not just open to the public. You know, the guy down the street just can't join because he thinks it's cool. So it's strictly to Marist students and hopefully um, graduate students in the future. What events are you guys going to host? So currently we've been hosting, uh, we hosted one fall drive that we called the Catskill Cruise. And we went in and drove around the Casco Mountains, stopped for lunch, and just had an overall great time just kind of looking at the area. And we also have been hosting weekly meetings at the, the car wash. And we, um, it's just a great, it's a great weekly meeting to get kids off campus and kind of out in the open, bonding around the same thing. We also plan on doing fundraising, uh, be it for our car club so we can host uh, driver education days as one goal of ours in the future. So maybe ha rent out a small track or a strip of tarmac and let kids really uh, work with an instructional driver to gain new skills for uh, defensive driving too. Um, we also plan on doing more community service events as we've done a couple already this year. We also plan on uh, continuing to go to local car shows, cars and coffee events. Uh, actually last weekend, we just went down to a delivery event at Porsche and saw a client's new Porsche GT4 RS be delivered. And it was a great, it actually ended up being a networking event uh, accidentally. And a lot of kids got to meet some YouTubers that they were big fans of and uh, just get around cars and go to different car shows because you, you really meet these owners and can talk to them. And, it, you know, whether or not it brings a job opening in the future, 
just getting connected and you know showing our presence in the, in the community i think is very important thank you for coming out and taking this interview yeah thanks for having me